Alexander Graham Bell discovers the telephone principle. He collaborates with Thomas Watson to develop the first telephone connection. The era of telecommunication began in 1871, and it has had a significant impact on the telephone timeline history to this day. It is regarded as one of the most amazing technological advances of all time. It all started with a dream that many people tried but only a few succeeded in realizing. Moving forward to today, communication has become critical for maintaining global connections. People do not need to be in close proximity to strike up a conversation. Communicating over the phone brings us together and helps us to feel the comfort of our loved ones even from afar. It allows us to give quick updates regardless of the distance. Before we get started make sure to like the video, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Phone technology is now essential in business. It is essential in every business transaction. Watch the video until the end to learn about the entire evolution of the telephone. 1870s, 1910s, the telephone was invented. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone and made the first phone call in 1876. A year later, there were 3,000 active users on the database. The first long-distance phone service began in 1881. They also provided a directory of yellow pages. Telephones became widely used in the early 20th century. In 1878, they installed the first coin-operated telephone and the first manual switchboard. In 1915, it resulted in the first official transcontinental phone call. Bell dialed Thomas A. Watson in San Francisco from New York City. 1920s, 1940s, Hoover and his office telephone. Herbert Hoover was the first president of the United States to use a phone in his office to talk from outside a booth. In 1946, Bell hired 250,000 women as switchboard operators for public and commercial services. In the 1930s, famed industrial designer Henry Dreyfus created the Model 302, which many consider to be the first modern telephone. Its design marked a departure from previous models in that the ringer is integrated into the phone, rather than a separate component, the cradle is horizontal, and you speak and listen to the same piece resting on top. After the Model 302, AT and T realized it could sell the phone to the masses. The phone's traditionally square base was replaced by a slimmer design with a touchpad, called the Trimline, first produced by the phone company in 1965. Buttons for asterisk and hash were added too. 1950s, 1960s, global communication became more convenient. Bell's company decided to lay the first transatlantic phone cable, which facilitated global communication. Without any manual switching, calls were automatically routed to different extensions. Video phones become more affordable and practical in the 1960s. Bell Systems introduces the touch-tone phone in 1963. Instead of counting clicks, this phone made a different beep for each number and replaced rotary phones. The first touch-tone phone with a lighted dial became part of American pop culture during this time period and was marketed to business travelers. Then, in 1964, at the New York World's Fair, the picture phone, the first video conferencing feature, appeared in the telephone timeline. Hotlines were set up, and 911 was designated as the national emergency number. 1970s, 1980s, the era of mobile phones. This is the era of portable mobile phones, also known as cell phones. 1971, Intel Corporation creates the 4004 single-chip microprocessor. Telephones and switching systems would be smaller, lighter, and faster to use thanks to the microprocessor. Martin Cooper, a senior engineer at Motorola, unveiled the world's first mobile phone. It was the Motorola Dynati AC8000X, which cost US$4,000. The prototype handset weighed 2.5 pounds, 
had 30 minutes of talk time, 6 hours of standby time, and could store up to 30 phone numbers. Fax machines became popular in 1985. A printed sheet of paper could be sent over phone lines and received in its entirety on the other end. 1990s, the Internet Era and VOIP This was considered the Internet Era. The IBM Simon, considered the first smartphone, was released in 1993. It served as a mobile phone, PDA, and fax machine all at the same time. It had a touch screen, which foreshadowed the arrival of the Apple iPhone 14 years later. It went for $899. In the following year, 1994, digital cordless phones are introduced. During that time, the FCC granted a frequency range of 900 MHz for cordless phones, which is now 5.8 GHz. They introduced a new feature, Caller ID, which became a contentious issue in America at the time. Furthermore, mobile phones were no longer restricted to business use, but were made available for mass production. In 1995, Vocal Tech received a patent for the first Internet call, Voice over Internet Protocol, VOIP, also known as IP telephony. In the international market, they introduced a peripheral device that can provide voice calling for desk computers. Nokia capitalized on this transition by releasing a handset in the telephone timeline history with a picture display. The Nokia 1011 provided mobile calling, SMS, and games. Since then, Americans have accessed the Internet via their mobile phones. 2000 and beyond, the release of the first BlackBerry handset. The first BlackBerry handset with cell phone service was released. It offered real ringtone, Wi-Fi, quad band, and full web browsing in Opera Mini. This device can be used anywhere across the globe. The applications for computers and smartphones were also developed into full integration of landlines, soft phones, and VOIP was hosted in private branch exchange, PBX phone systems. It allowed users to surf the internet, check their email, make phone calls, and check voicemail from a single device. A few years later, the iPhone debuted and most lines became VOIP-based. It helped us to communicate through voice calls or conference calls instantly across the globe at an affordable rate. Mobile phones are getting smarter too. It provided a capacitive touchscreen feature and replaced the traditional buttons to swiping and scrolling. This evolution made a widespread and inexpensive tool for communication. The iPhone, which debuted in 2007, transformed the phone by turning it into a tiny, mobile computer. Though other touchscreen phones had come before it, the iPhone's sleek interface revolutionized mobile phone design. Current iPhone's models have major improvements on the first model, from sporting three high-quality cameras to retina display to an A13 Bionic chip that allows for faster processing. Smartphones have become essential to our modern life. As you can see, the way we communicate continually changes from time to time. Now we get to enjoy more features and flexibility, making modern devices essential to everyday life. Phones bring loved ones from around the world together, make business transactions smoother, provide entertainment, and allow users to capture every moment. We hope you've learned from today's topic on the phone history timeline. Telephone systems, like many other technologies, have evolved over the past century and VOIP phone systems now include many advanced features that make communication simpler, more reliable, more efficient, and more affordable. In fact, advanced VOIP systems are invaluable tools for any business. This was the evolution of the phone. We hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.